Hey guys, what's up? Um, that was really weird. I don't know why I do stuff like that. But anyways, um, it's been a while. I uh, actually had a video about a week, week and a half ago. Like, I was, it was, I mean, I recorded it, and I could have posted it, but it just, there was something wrong with it. I just, I didn't like it. Um, I think I finally experienced culture shock, um, which was really weird because, like, I thought it would have already gone through that, but no, <laughs> I, it hit me about a week or two ago, um, and it was just hard, like, there was kind of, like, a depression, sadness, I don't know, I wasn't, like, depressed, like, oh, I hate my life, but I just, I don't know, in, in the video when I was watching it before I post it, because sometimes I'll kind of screen it, not all of it, but I'll screen it, and there was just, there was no, no life in the video, no life in, you know, when I was talking or anything, and it was just like, it was almost depressing, and I knew if I posted it, people who actually knew me, uh, especially my mom, you know, you guys, <laughs> you guys would know that something was wrong, um, but I didn't really know what was up at the time, so I decided not to post it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm working through that. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm through it. I was focusing on finishing up um, the end of the semester strong academically. Um, so far, I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well, yeah. Um, yeah. But anyways, today is May 1st, and in Germany, that's like national take a take a walk day, like, everybody here goes for a walk, they get off of school, like, everything, um, and so it's, it's different, it's cool, but it's different, um, didn't actually go for a walk, um, but I did climb trees, <laughs> which was fun, um, got, I mean, it's not bad, but a little scratch there, some scratches there, uh, there you go. Uh, I think I got some on my legs and the inside of my knee because I was wearing shorts and some of these trees I had to like bear, climb it like a bear um, to get to the branch. Um, it's pretty cool. But it it never ceases to amaze me like the reaction you get out of people when they see you climbing. It's like I don't, I don't know, like, why is it so weird that a boy wants to climb a tree? Like, come on. Like, you think monkeys are the only ones that can do that? No. Come on. We like to do stupid stuff, and we like to blow or tear things apart. That's just who we are, like... But it, it just, it baffles me, like, how far people have gotten away from, like, being fun. <laughs> Cheap fun, too. Um, yeah. And then the other day, I actually got to ride a bike with one of the schools. But, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. We'll leave it at that. And I think that's pretty much it. Sorry. Um, as far as a Bonte goes, I don't think we have anything really scheduled. As far as I know, we don't have any more like events scheduled, which is kind of good because we're going to have our own finals coming up really soon. Um, so having full weekends where we're not here is not would not be helpful, just saying. Um, 
But we're still singing and different stuff. And I think Lee is preaching at Crossroads soon. But guys, this is this is the last month. Like it's basically thirty three days now. I'll be home. Um Yeah. I, uh, you know, it, it's kind of shocked me, like, how many people have kept in mind that we're leaving in a couple months, or, uh, I mean, not even a couple months, it's 33 days now, so it's a month and two days, but just, I, I don't know, like, it, I mean, I guess it surprises me because, like, I am kind of a loner. Though I've made friends, it's not like best buddy friends, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I guess, I guess, you know, I've made a bigger impact on people than even I realize because people have asked me, you know, so you know, you're going home in about a month. Yeah. Are you happy? And then, I mean, I'm extremely happy, to be completely honest. But I, I I explained to them that, you know, it's not that I don't like it here, or that I haven't had a good time, or anything like that. I just miss home. I'm ready. Um, one out of nine months being at home is a long time for someone who's never moved or you know I, I don't think I've been away from home from home more than a month before but even then when I was away for about three three and a half weeks I was with my parents so again I mean I'm not like I don't think I'm a baby I guess I guess you could call me a baby but I just yeah. Um, am I her? I'm telling you guys, it's going to be long when I get back. It's already long. I still got a month. Oh, there's another one. See, that's a good one. Sorry. Um, but I'm really thinking about cutting up because it is just long. I think it just keeps going. Um, but it, I just, I don't know. Part of me says keep growing it out while you're here. You know? You've got no one to impress. And if you do impress them, then they like you for who you are and not how you look. <laughs> um... I think that's it. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Nah, 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 nah. Hmm. Yeah. If you have any questions, talk to me. Um. Give a shout out to Sarah Wilson, whom I miss and I love. Uh, and we should talk more like she suggested on my Facebook status. Um, but that door swings both ways. Just saying. <laughs> um, and there was something about Paul that somebody suggested that I'm like content in whatsoever situation. I think it was something like that, but, and, and, and I am content, you know, I, could be worse, I, yeah, could be worse, I'm not complaining, God is good, all the time, all the time, God is good, but that still doesn't give me anything to really talk about. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, my brother Kirk and his wife Gretchen are foster parents. Um, cool. Kudos to you guys. That's exciting. Um, praying for you, because I know children require prayer. Yes, they do. Because they will drive you nuts. And you need the patience of God. And you need to put the fear of God inside of them. Um, I stink. That is it. Um, yeah, I got nothing else. The weather's great right now. Why don't I just tell you about the weather? I'll tell you about it right now. Um, it says that it's 17 degrees, but that means nothing to you. So let me switch it. And, okay, so it's about 62 degrees, which really doesn't seem like that much. But it feels great here. Oh, it's beautiful. Um... And so we're enjoying that. I think the snow has finally melted, but there's probably a pocket here or there that I don't see. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, I'm coming home. 33 days. Ecclesia, get ready, because I need all the hugs I can get. Um, I've been, I mean, it's like cold turkey on hugs over here. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Um, I mean, I'm a boy, but I just, I miss my hugs and my man love. Whew, goodness. And, Sweet tea. I think I've said that before, but sweet tea. Um, boiled peanuts. Okay. Random story. But we uh, was walking into the cafeteria for lunch one day, and I could have sworn I smelled boiled peanuts. And it just created this longing and urging for some boiled peanuts. But they didn't have boiled peanuts. I don't even know what the smell was coming from, but it was not boiled peanuts, and I was a little bit sad. I wasn't very surprised that it wasn't what I thought or hoped, because it just, it usually isn't here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I miss boiled peanuts, I miss that. Um, anyways, yes, and I miss the guys back home, and the people in Puerto Rico. The weather in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and and the beaches, and the rocks. Oh, I miss climbing on my rocks, but I have trees to climb here. And that's it. Yep, nothing new. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. That's like one of my shortest videos in like forever. So enjoy your free time to do whatever. Um, I hope that you enjoyed hearing from me and hearing my... Uh, I don't really have a sweet voice. It's kind of a weak voice, in all honesty. I cannot yell. I cannot speak very loudly. Like, I just... I can't. My voice is so, like, empty. Like, there's no... There's no body behind it unless I do, like, a movie voice. And I don't want to walk around doing a movie voice all the time. Even though it'd be really cool to do a movie voice, I've often dreamed about doing it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Continue to pray for me. Um, that I finish up here strong. Um, not, even, not even academically. I mean, obviously, academically, but... Not just academically, but, you know, with relationships and 
just making an impact in the lives here. Um, I, mean, I can't say I've made too huge of an effort to really, you know, get into people's lives. I've, I, I, for me, I don't feel like that's ministry. I, if if someone wants to be a part of your life, or if they want you to be a part of their lives, they'll let you know. They'll invite you in. Um, so I feel like I've made myself available, though I have heard that some people don't really know how to approach me. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't understand that. Like, walk up, say hello, start talking. I mean, if I, if I don't feel the sincerity in the conversation, I feel like it, I mean, if it feels like it's just a, uh, a, a, you know, a conversation to be polite, I'm not going to make you sit there and be polite to me, just go about your business, I'll be fine. <laughs> but if you do want to approach me, just come up, start talking, you know. Tell me about your life. Tell me about your day. Tell me what's your favorite food. You know, let's let's talk about ice cream. Let's let's talk about um, seafood. I haven't had good seafood in a while. Let's uh, let's talk about camping. Let's talk about good worship. You know, let's just ah. Uh, if you really talk to me, I'm a really open person. But I don't just for everybody to see you know uh, I can hold my own like some people go Bleh. it's like word vomit sometimes uh, and you're like that's really great I didn't expect you to tell me all that but I, I'm i honored that you trust me now if it's in a, like a sincere conversation that's different because then we're really talking about something. But some people that just come up to you, I'm like, Bleep! and it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I hope I've made an impact of some sort. I don't know what that was. It was weird. Oh, it was the mail. The mail, the mail, the mail is here. Anyways, um, well, it was going to be like one of the shortest videos in a while, but then I got on different tangents, and here we are. So, now, oh yeah, I helped someone move this weekend. Yeah, go for social work. Um, no, like, this couple at school, they found out that they had to move, like, that this last week and um and they uh I mean, got most of their I mean they didn't have much their students but they had enough um but they got it packed up and they only moved like right up the street so it was really nice but they announced that they were moving I think Friday and that they needed some help and I thought it was only for Saturday but apparently, they had people come over Friday afternoon and help pack up different stuff and get things organized for Saturday. And then I went Saturday and helped them move with some other people. And it was just nice. Like, I, I had the opportunity to possibly go um, ride some roller coasters and stuff. But I haven't been able to just, like, do something for people. And I love it. I really do. Like, we have work hour at the school. And a lot of times, I'll get done with my stuff. And I'll see somebody doing something. And I've offered a couple times to help them. But usually they say, no, they're good, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I, I just, I, I don't do it. I don't offer anymore. I... But I love helping people. Like that's it's one of the reasons I want to be a pastor. Like, I mean I feel called to it, but I want to because of that reason. You know, I love to help people. 
uh, and I love teaching. I've only been able to really preach like two times and I have an opportunity to do devotion which is only like 20-25 minutes and so with the translator it's not even that long. I don't know if I'm going to be able to mash in anything to where I can fit it in that short of time. But I just, I love it. I do. But, alright. Goodbye. I love you. But, this is for your own good. I, I know you would love to hear me keep speaking and telling you about random stuff that you probably don't even care about. But, you need to go. So, I'm doing this for your own good. That and I need a shower before I go to eat. So, I will talk to you later. Peace. And through everything we've learned We've finally come to terms We are the outsiders